I keep on saying that hakuna mipango ya shetani mm. inaweza kufaulu yeah. katika maisha yako. Yeah. We need to walk in that revelation yeah. that as long as you're connected with the father. Yes. Yeah. As long as you're connected with the father, no evil. beautiful people how are you doing i am priscilla ndano karibuni sana hapa pour it out it is another wednesday another chance to give god the glory through our stories and our testimonies and i'm so happy and before to endele share just take your phone start sharing this content to your friends to your loved ones because as usual this is amazing content like like and subscribe so Today I have an amazing lady. She's called Phoebe Mugoi. I'm trying to get that <laughs> name right. Mugoi. She's really really nice. We met online. The coincidences are just yani mtasikia tu. She is an entrepreneur and specifically in the interior and home decor. Her page is amazing. She'll tell us all about it. Yani niliangalia nika feel wow my home needs a makeover. I can feel the pressure even when I'm here. And she has a prayer group which she leads. It's called Women Arise. They pray every morning. I want to know more. Karibu sana. Thank you Welcome so much. Welcome to Pour It Out. Thank you for having me. Nimefurahi sana kukuona, kukujua. Thank you. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Thank you for having me. I do interior and home decor. And um The business name is uh, Anael mm-hmm. Interiors. It's a Hebrew name meaning the Lord has favored me. Amen. Yes, the Lord has favored me. I love that. Amen. We stock um home decor, we stock consoles, we stock um candle holders, we stock vases. Wow. Yes, generally. I have seen all of them. The, yes, the dinner sets, mm. everything that is involves home decor. Hey. Yes. So have you done this forever? Um this is a business that is new to you. This is a new business. Mm-hmm. Actually we are one month old. <laughs> I'm like it's a milestone. Yes, it is. It is. It Someone is. Someone cannot tell. Yani mimi nikiangalia page yako because you DM me with your page and I went I was like wow wow wow. wow. Um, like this is the page I've seen the most unique stuff. Oh, you know most you. interior uh, pages you find the same e console iko hapa iko yes. pale iko pale iko yeah. pale yeah. but then you have a very unique selection Thank that you. really caught my eye. Thank you. Yeah, Thank and you. the name favored. Yes. Wow. The Lord has favored me. Hey. Amen. So uliko nafanya nini before uanze kufanya Um, uh, interior I used to do printing and branding mm-hmm. so I've done printing and branding for like eight years wow yes then I felt the Lord leading me into interior home decor mm. so that was in 2020 when the Lord told me <clears throat> you need to transition and do um, home decor and it wasn't easy for me yeah the transitioning haikuwa raisi mm. you know i was like is this god kweli wewe ni god wewe kweli is it you mm. you know and because I, like, i mean you've been in a business for eight years <clears throat> yes it's now stabilizing it's yes. starting to take shape yeah. and then different instructions yeah umejua panya roots umejua everything yes. and then you've been told no i want you now to take a different uh, direction and do home decor for me this is something that is totally new uh, when the lord told me you need to move from printing and going to the home deck i decided to take the first step mm. so in 2020 late 2020 i ordered for some table mats just mm, to try and yeah. see how it's going to be uh, <laughs> so i ordered I made a mistake instead of bringing the goods through the sea cargo yeah. I did an air. Eh it was so costly. So it was really costly. Yeah. So it ate up my profit margins. I abandoned it. I said, uh uh-uh. uh this one lord you <clears throat> take care of yes, it. Yes, take care of it. <laughs> so I went back to my printing. I said this one I it's ain't working. How many pieces had you brought in the first time? Uh like 
200 pieces, 300 pieces. Yeah, and your profit margins it is because yes. of the way it's the by the way. Yes. Those guys who do business that involve shipping, you can relate. Yes. Hey. Yeah. I said no, I'm not going to go back there. Mm. I'm I'm done. Exactly. Let me go back to something that I'm used to, mm. which is the printing and branding. Yeah. So I continued then later on in 2021 I went into a fast I was celebrating my birthday every time I I am celebrating my birthday because it's 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 something that is really special for me so I get into a fast so I went into a 14 day fast and I wow. prayed and I was asking the Lord so what's next you mm. know I want to know what's next what am I supposed to do and then the Lord started confirming and telling me um you should go back to what I told you to to do. Okay, wow. That is so God <clears throat> is so nice. Like he told you already. You did it kidogo yes. katoroka and yeah. here he is just telling you. Yeah. Go back. He yeah. doesn't get tired and say me ah, we unilisha mwambia na askia. Yeah. Wow. So the Lord also used another man of God to confirm Amen. that that I'm I'm supposed to do something different. Yeah. So come 2022 I shipped in some kitchen wares hey. some um, mm. the home chefing dishes mm. so I brought them in I did so well mm. we, I sold them very well wow. then I ordered sasa kitchen the hotels the big ones sasa yeah. the 20 liters 10 liters so I ordered so when I ordered the shipping also mm. was quite costly yeah so this like, one's a mini yes this one's a mini and heavier but this time I was wise mm. i used i used the sea shipping <laughs> <laughs> i used the sea to transport you're them. like you port you're not coming <laughs> yes. by air yeah. no way i was like i've spent so much will i get into them will i get any profits will mm. i get good profits and i was like let me just do it let me just continue yeah. so i got stuck a bit but i just continued i just said let me just put them out there mm. let me just push into the cells so i managed to sell them so last year i decided no now let me just now try and open a show mm. and um oh, cuz this time now you are <coughs> you are buying the, yes. kidogo kidogo yes. posting online yes, posting sharing with friends yes. oh okay i yeah. get now yeah yeah so last year i really felt now i needed to go and just get a show mm. um yeah so here we are Mm. So we have a shop now. Wow. Yes. One month old. It's one month old. I like the journey. It's yes. been progressive. Yeah. Of course, it's still a short time yes. because I mean it's 2020 ni jana. Yeah. 2021 is still yesterday. Yes. Yes. I'm very proud of you. Where's your shop? My shop is on Kiambu Road. Mm. Uh Total Petrol Station yeah. in Igwa. Um the building is a legacy plaza so yes. on legacy plaza your legacy Sanflo. plaza utaiona tu ni inakwanga imeandikwa yes. legacy eh, plaza eh. very big you can't miss <clears> it yeah. sawa sawa so yes. karibu kwa retail so i really wanted you to just talk about your business fast before to say how yes. because i really like for real i really love Thank your you. things Thank and you. i think they are amazing i am feeling pressure <laughs> you guys you know when you have someone who has amazing stuff and Thank she's you. in your house or go to The yeah, you are stuff everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is real. It's a good kind of pressure. Okay, hey, so, what are to really cooperate it out stuff. Okay. You have an amazing story. Yes. And I don't want to preempt it. I want you guys to listen to it. Yes. So maybe now we can start with who are you? Who's Phoebe? And tell us your journey and the reasons why we are here today. As you've heard, my name is Phoebe. I am a mother of two and married to one man. <laughs> that is it's important to include that. Very. <laughs> one man mm-hmm. and um, I love the Lord Amen. so so much. He's the reason why today I am alive. He's he's given me so much joy and, and peace, you know. Uh, I usually say that my father who is in heaven is my is my daddy i usually Amen. see him walking with me wow you know, walking with me every time so jesus for me is everything wow god for me is is everything that's what i can say about god and um i'm born again 
and um, as Ndanu has uh, has said that um, I lead a women uh, prayer group, mm. Women Arise Prayer Hub. Yeah. We pray every day. We pray from four in the morning wow. to five thirty. Like Monday to Friday. We've been doing it uh, since 2020. Hey. It's been three years. Oh, first April we celebrated three years of everyday intercession. Amen. And uh, I must say it has taken the grace of God. Amen. How can I say really say that it is has taken the grace of God? Because I'm one person who loves to sleep. Mm. So kwam kafo enyewe ni God. Kwa mkafoni. Wow, And so, I love to pray also. Yeah. I love to pray. I love to encourage women. I love to empower women. Amen. I love to tell women, arise. Mm. We cannot stay there. Yeah. Arise. Amen. Pick up yourself. Yes, you've made mistakes, but arise. Yes. You know? Yeah, so that's... Wow. That's... Uh, a brief history. So I got married in 2011. Mm. We're actually celebrating 12 years in marriage. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank wow. you. To yeah. God be the glory. He Man. has done great things. Yeah, to 12 years is not a joke. Yes. Siku is yet a three years. Yes. We threw a big party. Of we are not waiting for 10 years. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, we have made it. We've made it. Yeah. Yeah. So immediately after I got married, we stayed like for one year. Then mm. I got I got pregnant. Oh, man, nice. And um while I was pregnant, the pregnant wasn't so smooth uh because my my daughter um her umbilical call was round her neck. Mm. Oh. So we started with those problems, mm. kitogo, kitogo, when I was, I think, six months or five months. Oh, that is early. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah. we overcame. Uh, so in 2013 now, I'm, I'm going to hospital. Mm. And um, on the 20th, or oh, September, it was on September. Yeah. So we, we go to hospital because I had labor pains. So we went, I labored, but um, her heart rate was going down. Mm. Oh. Yes, her heart rate was going down. So the doctor said, let's go into an emergency CS. Yes. So we went into an emergency CS. The baby came out well and uh, I was recovering. Wow. Oh, yes. How many kgs? Oh my Lord, 2.1. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, wow. That was a small baby. Very small But baby. considering the two challenges, yes, you know. the two know? challenges that I had, oh. I through. I was recovering, mm. so everyone went home, my husband went home, so I was there with the baby. At night, I had seizures mm. at night when I was asleep. So I was to go to ICU, mm. but uh, the ICU was full. So the seizures were those that intense? Yes, they were that intense. Mm. And was that the first time getting yes, seizures? it was my first time to get seizures. Mm. So they took me to the HDU. Mm. So my husband comes in the morning and finds me. I'm unconscious pipes everywhere, you know. So that was on a Monday morning. So I was unconscious for like three days. Oh, yeah. For three days. I wake up on Wednesday at lunchtime and I see people surrounding me. Mm. I see my mom, I see my mother-in-law, my sister and my husband. And I wake up and I ask them, and my sister came to my side and told me, so you've given birth. <clears throat> I'm like, birth? When I was pregnant, now I lost my memory completely. Oh, no. Lost everything. I went back, like, where we used to live, my childhood memories. Oh, no. Now I turn to my husband and I'm like, what? Ukuni wapi? So <clears throat> he pulls out his phone, Nana Nyonyesha, this is a baby. I was like, oh, okay. So my sister tells me, you have a very beautiful baby girl. Oh my God. And I'm like, oh wow, okay. So now I sleep again. Then now I wake up on 
on a Thursday morning now, you know. But there was so much confusion. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know even I was pregnant. You know, the memory, I lost memory completely. There is another lady, my my mother-in-law, I would say my auntie, in law. Yeah. Because I was at Nairobi Hospital, she used to live around Kenyatta Hospital. She stood with me in prayer. She told me one day that when you are on the bed lying, lifeless, I told God she cannot die. Mm. How can she die? She cannot die. It's she will live. Baby. Yes. She will live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the Amen. land of the living. And she pushed in prayer and she prayed for me. Oh. She prayed for me. And for sure, prayer works. Wow. Prayer works. Mm. And today I'm alive to yeah. testify. You stayed in the hospital for how long? Five days. For five days. Yes. So you woke up Kabisa. Bizuri. I woke up Kabisa. After waking up on the on Wednesday, mm. then I went back to sleep again. Yeah. I woke up on Thursday. I woke up a, a new person. Yeah. You know, that I was conscious, blah, blah, blah. But still the memory, I couldn't remember. So how was everyone acting around you? I'm imagining I would be terrified. Yes, they were terrified. My husband was I'm terrified. like, would they ever go back to normal? Yes. What is this? My, my husband was terrified. I was like, what? Phoebe is talking about where she used to live. Oh. The childhood memories. Now that's when I woke up. Mm. It's like you're talking about your childhood memories, where you were. You know, it really shook him, yeah. you know. But um, hey. they were brave enough just to look, Collect themselves yes, and collect be themselves calm. Collect themselves and be calm, yes, mm. yeah. So you guys left with your kababy? Yes, with our 2.1 kababy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We went home. I was um, I was given some medications. I'm imagining you're healing a lot of things. There's the wound, yes. the CS wound that you have to heal, and then now there's this new thing that new is baby. happening. Yes. And then there's a baby. Yes. Oh. It was so much, but I can say there's a way that the grace of God can just carry you. You're not seeing uh, this, that, that, that. Uh, ukotu. Ukotu, the, the grace just carries you mm. and you just live one day at a time, one yeah. day at a time. But it wasn't easy. And I used to take the medication every day. Mm. And sometimes I would not take the medication, but yeah. I would take and uh, that was in September. So by the time I took the medicine faithfully, mm. um, on and off, yeah. daktari. You know it's understandable. Yes. You can really get yeah. tired. Because you're... You know <clears throat> you've been taking medicine throughout pregnancy, yes. the supplements and yes. whatnot, and then now this. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a new thing. You're taking this medicine. You're told you have to take this medicine. There's that fear. Oh, I can have another seizure, yeah. you know. And what was that even? Yes, ah. what was that, you know. Sometimes my husband would sit with me and tell me, you know, this is what happened. Would actually explain to me. Mm. And sometimes I would sit and I'm like, I would remember uh, things that happened on that day. I'm like, oh, okay. The so the memory, memory comes back kidogo Yeah, kidogo. the memories come back mm. kidogo kidogo. At that time, I started taking medication. Then in April, I went to see the neurologist. Mm. Um, we did the test and he says, it's okay. We can put you off um, the medicine. medicine. Oh. And I was like, wow, praise the Lord. Amen. This is your doing God. Thank you, thank mm. you, thank you, thank you. I enjoyed my life at that time. Continued with life. That was in 2013. 2013, 2014. Mm. 2014, now I get pregnant again mm. with my second child. So all through, yes. no seizures? No seizures, no nothing. No nothing. Okay. I'm, I'm good, I'm well. Wow. You know, I'm enjoying life, okay. the goodness of the Lord, you mm. know. After a year, I'm pregnant again Yeah. with my second child. Mm. So after like seven months of pregnancy, then I get another seizure. Wow. They come back again. Mm. So I was admitted. What, where were you? What? How at did home. it? Oh, you were at home. Thank yes. God. Yes, I was at home. <sighs> I was at home, and I I just got the seizures, and um, my husband took me to hospital, mm. and um, I was treated. 
We stayed for like a day, then I was discharged. And uh, we went home. I think it was seven, seven, eight months there. I can't yeah. remember well. Mm. So when it was time for me now to give birth, because my doctors were well prepared. Yes, they and know what yes, had happened they the know first what time. Was. So we went in into the house. We had to go to a CS also. Yes. The baby was born. Everything oh. was well, mm. you know. Thanking God for his goodness at night again. This, oh, the, that session. very same day. The same day, I got the seizures again. Aye. But this time, they were not as intense as the first one. Mm. Because the, the doctors were well prepared. Yeah. They knew that what they need to, how they handled. I left the hospital, went back home. One day, I was in the kitchen, and I'm just washing the utensils mm. for my baby. And I just fell, I just passed out. Oh. And we were hardly one month. I had to leave, go to hospital. I stayed there for like three days eh. and come back. That is like the longest time a mother could spend yes. away from her home. Yeah. What did the doctor say? First, I was in so much denial. Mm. I never used to say that uh, I have epilepsy, mm. you know, because, you know, epilepsy is related to demonic blah, blah, blah uh, thing. And you're like, you don't want to use your words, your <laughs> tongue. Yes. To impose something yes. like that so heavy yeah. on yourself. Yeah, so mm. heavy on myself. I was in so much denial and I didn't want to say it is epilepsy. So most of the times I would say I had seizures mm. or I had convulsions, uh, you know. But epilepsy is a disorder which a nerve cell activity in the brain is disturbed, mm. causing seizures. It just happens. Yeah. yeah. So I went through that and um, when I <sighs> fell, the doctors, the one no, I did also some mm. tests. But nothing. They can't tell. They can't trees. tell. Because like, yeah. you were okay. Yes, oh, baby, okay. Yes. You were fine. I was fine. I was okay. So I went to hospital, admitted. I stayed in hospital for three days, come back home, be with my baby. I cannot even explain how the grace of God carried me down. <laughs> because I was smiling. I was happy. I was... Nobody would tell what I'm going through. Mm. So we hit one month again. The other month, I got another seizure wow. again. Now this is becoming, because with the first pregnancy, yes. you yes. went home and that was yes, it. Yes, that now was this it. is becoming. The enemy has... It's very was, scary. Yes, it's really scary. And the good thing is the seizures would find me when I'm in the house. Yeah, yeah that's also another thing. Yes, okay. yeah. The attacks, you know, would be when I'm in the house. You know, that is much better than out there. Yeah. You know, where people do not even know you. Yeah, and you just collapse yes, and, and they're like, collapse. how do we help this yes, one? They don't know what to yeah. do. I got admitted again, stayed in hospital for three days. Now that's when now my husband said, now we have to seek for a second opinion. Yeah. So now we sought for another doctor who is also a neurologist so we went to see him changed my medication and I started the journey mm. of healing so between July and uh, December of 2015 I didn't have any episode of any seizures mm. it wasn't easy it was tough because I was given seven tablets I had to take seven tablets Ew. every day Ew. As in, it's manage. just, you even smell like medicine, yes. you know, at some yeah. point your whole body is yeah. just like drugs. Yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you. But it was, I believe it was a journey mm. that the Lord had to take me through. Nowadays, I'm really compassionate about people who are sick. Mm. I know how it feels when somebody is sick. You know, people can really get tired yeah. because every time... You're in hospital. Yeah, you come gonjo. You come Did you get to a point where you don't want to talk to people about your yes. sickness? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you're like, ah. there was a time I told my husband, don't call anyone mm. when I'm sick. Don't call even my family members. Yeah. Let's just deal with it, me and you. Mm. Don't call them. 
Yeah. Because you know you're tired. Yeah. Siko ubaya hata. Yes, you're Nata tired. Na hata opia wamechoka na yes. siko ubaya. Not everyone has a grace. Yeah, no. nobody has a grace. In that space, I learned to depend on God. Mm. I learned to trust in God. I learned to pray. Yeah. Wow. I learned to pray. Ju, hakuna mtu angeza kunitoa kwa hiyo fix. Mm. Ata my husband hange uwezi. Because it's the doctor is given medicine. Yes. The husband is given support. Yes. The children are there, they make you smile. Yes. But the situation is yes. still there. It yeah. is like a new normal. Yes, it's an, like a new normal. This so, is your life. This, this is, is my your life. Drugs. Yes, these are my drugs. And they feel, were you ever afraid now to just go anywhere? Because mm. you're thinking, I will get a seizure or, uh, wow. Uliendelea tu na maisha. Uliendelea. When the grace of God carries you, mm. it carries you. Yeah. Completely. completely. That scripture that says, <sighs> my grace is sufficient. For sure it is. Amen. The grace of God is sufficient. Wow. It is sufficient completely. And it carried me. Mm. It carried me. The Lord separated me with people. Yeah. So that I can really concentrate in prayer. That's when I really knew how to pray. Wow. To pray, to intensify in prayer. And I remember in 2016, my spiritual mother made an announcement in church and said, mm. we want people to to pray. Yeah. Because we were opening a new sanctuary. Mm. So we want people to pray every Friday. Yeah. Every Friday, if you can avail yourself, please mm. come at the yes. sanctuary. Let's yes. let us pray. My baby at that time was six months. Mm. And I said, God, I desire to pray. Yeah. I desire to seek your face. Mm. I don't want this situation that I'm in I to see taki eh. see taki tena I spoke to my husband my husband very my husband is very supportive mm. and he said it's okay so my husband used to drop me eh, for prayers for prayers wow god Friday. bless him amen he's <laughs> such a good man <laughs> god bless <clears throat> just to pray and then I would come back home with a matatu mm. you know and I prayed And this is every, today, like this week, next yes. week, consistently. Yes, consistent. Just seek you. Are like God, it's it's you or you. Yes. I have. <laughs> I did that because the prayers were running. There was, <clears throat> it was for seven months mm. because we were opening the sanctuary for, on in August. Yeah. So if I had missed, maybe I missed three. Yeah. Or two. Wow. I can't That's a long time yes. to commit yes. to prayer. But I prayed, and every time I was there mm. praying sometimes i would not even pray for myself eh. i would pray for other things mm. i would pray for other people yeah. you know i would pray it was not me me god heal me god heal no, me no, no, today no. Yes. and yeah. tomorrow yes and that happens a lot with them like yes. you find you're going for prayers and you find yourself praying for other things yes number two or twingine number two or twingine and so i did that faithfully wow. for seven months you know and as i continued with your babies no yes family. yes See, i'm imagining it's your hubby was watching them at night yes the good thing is <laughs> now my baby waki hit six months i'm waki hit five months they sleep throughout the night i can look at how god works yeah. his miracle yes. signs and wonders yes when alana throughout the night akuna mm. kuamka like how... there's a process you go through but i'll give you grace i'll yes. make sure your children are sleeping yes. i'll have time for this like i need you yes hey, god was pursuing you yes god god <laughs> and <laughs> i keep on saying that my love for him was tested <laughs> yeah That's why I say, God, there's, I, I live for this God. Mm. I live for him because he has loved me. He has taken care of me. Protected he you. has protected me. Wow, this seven months, Mkenda, uh, Kesha's, mm. you are always okay. I was no all seizures, okay, no, no seizures. But there was one time, I think in, is it in April or February, mm. I got another attack. Imagine when I talk to Kesha, Mm. <laughs> Asubuhi umeamka and then you get a seizure. Oh, at that point ask the Lord. Now, what yeah. is this? Mm. 
Surely, what's this? <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> what's this? I strengthened myself in the Lord and I kept on moving, mm. you know? That, that and you didn't get discouraged. No. But okay, shall we end up? Yes. We still praise yes. the name of the Lord yes. in good times and in bad times. Yani, you have seen it all. Yes. You know, sometimes you think at a, uh, the bad times can be like tiny, tiny yes. things. That was a big thing. Yes. I never stopped. I hey. told God, niwewe na mimi. Mm. Of course, kama binadamu, sometimes you feel, hey, God, you have let me down. Hey. Even after going to I'm, Kesha. I'm from Kesha, I'm Jana, from Kesha, surely. Jana, surely. <laughs> hey, please. Today, I'm getting, hey. not today, it's hey. been in the middle of the week. Yes, <laughs> you know? And the Lord just encouraged me, and I kept on going. Mm. I kept on pursuing God. Yeah. You know, telling God, I'm, I'm not leaving you. Mm. I'm... I'm there, yeah. I'll continue. Mm. So I pushed on in prayers and I prayed. So the seven months is Ikaisha. Yeah. To kind of layer two. So that was in 2016. Wow. Yeah. It's like a whole year going like that. Yes. Pray, pray. Yeah, like pray. the consistent yeah, prayers. Consistent prayers. So 2016, one day, and I think it was in November, December, I'm driving. And I may drop my mom home and I may drop cabanas. Mm. I'm driving Nikoapo. Um, Uhuru Highway. Eh. You remember the former um, uh, Nakumat? Yeah, yeah, Iko Highway. Iko Highway. Mm. Yes, Nakumat. Sayi ni, ni Kafo. Kafo yeah. Yes. So I'm driving Iko Hapo. Then the traffic police are Iko Hapo. So ni mesi mama ni mekam guangu kwa break. I was hit with another seizure. I had an attack. Oh my God. But the good thing is. My leg was on the break. Break. Eh. Wow. So people started screaming. So one man gets out of his car and comes, open the door. He had bought coffee mm. from Java. And he gave me and I drank. That is the day that I knew Kumbe Kofi mm. in Amshangam Tombo, Akipata attack, na, na nani, na seizure. Mm. So when he gave me the to sip the coffee, I woke up. Wow. That is the day that I knew that mm. God can really protect. You know, it, the policeman had to stop the car so that you can place your yes. legs on the brakes. Yes. Otherwise, you would have gotten the attack when you're dry. driving. And you know, unajua pale ukisha pita the roundabout ni, ni mteremuko hivi. To... So can you imagine? That's where the enemy had targeted me. Oh my gosh. But God. God really protected me from the plan of the enemy. <clears throat> so I wake up. He tells me, unlock your phone. Unlock my phone. He calls my mother. He tells my mother, apparently that man was a doctor, mm. a Somali doctor. I never forget him. Wow. God positioned everyone. everyone. Let me ask you, on a Saturday morning, <laughs> unapata wapi traffic, traffic, traffic police, 8 a.m. God ali command traffic police, lazima utakuwa hapo. Mm. My daughter anapita hapo. Na shetani amepanga. Yeah. Lakini haita faulu. Amen. I keep on saying that hakuna mipango ya shetani inaweza mm. kufaulu. Yeah. Katika maisha yako. Yeah. We need to walk in that revelation yeah. that as long as you're connected with the Father. Yes. Yeah. As long as you're connected with the Father, no evil. The way the Bible says, He has commanded His yes. angels to watch over you, yes. that you will not dash your foot yes. against the stone. stone. Yes. It, like it's a command. They yes. are just around you, yes. watching. Hey, hey, she's about to fall. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ta, 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 ta. They've yeah. done their work. God is faithful. He is so faithful. And I remember when He called my mom, He told my mom, Your daughter has had an accident. Mm. So organize people. So my mom calls my sister, blah, blah, blah. Then apparently, see how God even positions, mm. he positioned people. Then my, my sister-in-law calls me. Yeah. Then the doctor picks up. Mm. He says, where are you? He says, I'm at Modern Costa. 
then fibi amepata accident just come hey. so you know modern cost na simbali yeah. na hapo na ni hapo na kwa mega simbali yes. so she rushes in she gets into the car mm. and um I'm taken to hospital. God positioned everybody. Mm. Everybody including the police officer, mm. the doctor, my sister-in-law, yeah. he positioned them. Wow. He positioned them. Cuz they knew this will happen. Yes, he knew this will take. Yeah, yani that verse it. makes so much sense. Yes. I will position my angels yes. they will guard over you. Charge I command them. Yeah. There's this scripture that says My eyes have seen you and my ears have heard you me have seen God. Yeah. The way the children of Israelites walifunguliwa red sea. Mm. Me me have seen God do that for me. Yeah. And it was in that accident. Na not even a scratch. And the Lord made it in such a way that I was not admitted mm. completely. I left the hospital as my friend was driving me home. You know the, those silent moments. Yeah. You're like, "Wow." Wow. Mm. Wow. And one thing, I think for so long I was in denial. Be very honest, I was not very consistent in in taking medication. Mm. Mara today I will take, mara tomorrow I will not take. Yeah. Mara you know, you'll pray, yes. you'll believe in God yes. for a miracle. Yeah. You're like, "God, you can do this." Yes. You can do this. Yeah. <laughs> That was the time when I was going home I made up my mind I said Phoebe you better wake up mm. take the medication mm. take the medication and I want to encourage somebody out there if you've been given medication take the medication take the medication it's a process and God will just heal you I said to myself if I die today I leave my kids mm. so small. Yeah. When they're very young. Mm. And I told myself, no. No. I have to take medication. I like that you say that because you see the truth is when you trust in God for a miracle and you're like, God, I know you can do this. Yes. Sometimes you find it very hard yeah. to go through the process. Yes. If it, maybe you're trying to conceive, you don't want to even go yes. see a doctor. You're like, God will do it. Yes. And probably God has given the doctor yes. all the answers. Yeah. He will still do it, yeah. but through him. Yeah. Through, like, because we get to that point, by the way. And if you're there and that's how you feel, it is okay. It is normal to feel like that. Yeah, God is. can do supernatural things. Yeah. Also, when he has positioned other people to help you, yes. like doctors and whatnot, yes. say yes. Yes. So that was my wake-up call. Wow. I started saying, "I'll take this medication," mm. and I took. I started taking every day consistently. Every day consistently. There are things that God can do for you, and you're amazed. Mm. And I didn't know how to say thank you. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to to cry. In my heart I was really thanking God, but I didn't know how to express it. Mm. You know, it was such a emotional, I would say an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. You know, what is this happening? And I remember I didn't even shower because I think I stayed one day or two days without mm. showering. I was in I was um, oh. yes, Nico too. I You're was, grateful is yes, yes. no. Yeah, I was so amazed that this is what God can do. You know. And I was like at the same time I'm like, wow. God, why did you allow this to happen? Mm. And I had good days. I had good, bad, days. bad days. Sometimes I would cry myself to sleep. I'm not saying that I was like hey every day faith you know no no no, no yeah. that's not what i'm saying there were days that i would I would be good there were days there were good days there were days that i would feel so low mm. and that's a lot so why are you doing this why have you allowed this to happen yeah. to me and at that particular time um i was in another group led by another woman of god and that is a time that my prophetic gift the lord was really stirring it up mm. you know and i would just share a word of knowledge in the group 
you know, I would just share it. And at the same time, I'm going through so much. Mm. I'm getting seizures. I'm taking medicine. I'm, you know, bringing up the babies. I have to be a wife. I have to do business. Yeah. I have to, you know, all those things, you know. And God is faithful. And he's, he's building something. He's building and he's all yes, this. Yes. In the midst of all this, he's building. He's building my faith. He's building, he's building me. He's building that I can truly trust in him. Mm. That when I just put my focus on the Lord, yeah. he'll do it. Wow. He'll do it. And he did it. Wow. He did it. I keep on saying it was my love test. The Lord really tested me. Wow. God, by the way, Day by day, the, the low moments, mm. I'll just cry myself to sleep. It's also very important to, to seek for counseling sessions mm. because the doctors offered, but I was naive at that time. Hey. I said, counseling for what? For who? For mm. what? And for I'm who? Praying. Yes, and I'm praying. Those counseling sessions would have really helped me, mm. you know. But with time, I yeah. came to realize how how also powerful the, the counseling sessions can help. Mm. But also in the midst of that, God just carried me. Yeah. Na ignorance. Ignorance. Yako, kila naivity. Kitu, <laughs> naivity. Kila kitu. You know, God oh. alini beba. Alini beba na akani beba na akani embrace. Akani embe, we are going with you. That's why I, I keep on saying, when I talk about the Father ah, in heaven. He is your daddy. Like I see him <laughs> holding my hand like yes. this and telling me, baby, let's go, mm. let's go, let's go. That's wow. what I, I have a picture. That's the picture that I have of my father who is in heaven. Now that is 2016, December 2017, uh, I take the medicine, Vizuri, Vizuri, go for reviews to see the neurologist. Yeah. The neurologist says, ah, you're doing so well. You've not had seizures. Yes, I'm like, I've not had seizures for like three months, four months. Ah. Good. Wow. The Lord is doing something good. 2017, I think, in September. Mm. Now I was hit with another seizure after like nine months of not having any seizures. I got another attack. Your hopes were high. Yes. Then. Yeah. And uh, I was admitted again. And this is particularly this one I told my husband, don't call anyone. anyone. I don't know how my sister found out, but she just found out. <laughs> <She's a> sneaky <laughs> one. <laughs> she called me and I told her I'm in hospital. And uh, I think she came. And you know, the, those moments you're like, wow. Mm. So Lord, what's I thought this? you were over this. Yes. For nine months, you've, you've not had any attack. Mm. Now you've, 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 now this is... And now you're one. faithful with the medication? Yes, yes. yes. now I'm <laughs> faithful even with the medication, taking the seven tablets every day. You mm. know? Sometimes I would get so bad migraines, I would still take. I had one cut tablet, yeah, migraine I had to take mm. every day because the migraines were intense. Yeah. You know? mm. And so I was discharged and I started saying, you know what, God, it's okay. Mm. It's okay. Let me just... Let me just continue. Let me just push on. Let me just, you're faithful. You're mm. God. You're God. You're God. Your God will do this. So one day I was really, really discouraged. And I said, Lord, till when? Till when? Mm. Till when will I be taking this medication? Till when? I'm so tired. It's yeah, tired. tired. And it's been like, you know, three years, four years of taking mm. medication. Wow, that's a long time. Taking medication. And I just asked the Lord so many questions. I was like, Job, I asked him. Because, you know, at, mm -hmm. it's, it's good to have very authentic conversations with God. Let me tell you, it helps to have the authentic conversations with God, telling him, God, I'm hurting. Eh. God, have, because, you know, he's our father in yeah. heaven. God is really faithful. Yeah. He'll always send a word. He'll always comfort you. He'll always do something to mm. help you overcome that situation. Yeah. So I remember 
at that particular time, I was like, huh, I'm tired. Mm. You know, I'm tired. And I told God, I'm not complaining, but you have seen my heart. I am tired. Yeah, I like, am, I have to tell you. <laughs> yes, I have to tell you. And that is why it's really important for us to initiate those conversations. And very honest ones yes. with God. Yes. I like that. Yes. I authentic, love that. Mm. Authentic conversation. Because you see, at the end of the day, he's a father. Yes. He's a loving father. Mm. So I told him, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. And I remember I sent a text to a friend of mine. And I told him, hey, I'm really tired. Short, <laughs> precise. <laughs> My friend told me, I'll, I'll ask the father. Mm. And God has wow. a sense of humor. <laughs> God has a <sighs> sense of humor. And he tells me, tell Phoebe to relax. Wow. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I would also be like, okay. <laughs> I relax. Okay. I relax. So I just waited on court, never stopped the medication. Mm. But from 2017, September 2018, I never, uh, I never had any seizures. Wow. 2019, I never had any seizures, but I kept on taking the medication. Every day, seven Every tablets. Day, seven tablets. Mm. Then I kept on... I reduced the doses. Now. Yes, yeah. I told myself, Ikifika, this month, sita kunyo easy down. So I started reducing the doses. Pole, 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 pole. Yeah. Pole, pole. Evo Fika 2019, in, uh, I think in February, mm. I stopped the medication. Wow. Your doctor approved it was he okay. Didn't. He didn't. Ulise Matusasa. I felt that it was time for me to stop and I stopped the medication and it's been since 2018, it's been five years now, since 2017, September, till today. Stopped the medication. I've never had any seizures. I am well, perfectly wow. well. God has healed me. I can testify through the miracles of God wow. that God can truly heal. God can truly heal. And sometimes we go through the process and it's okay to go through the process because out of that process, I learned how to pray. I learned how to depend on God. Mm. I learned to lean on God. I learned, I learned so many things about God, you know, because God isolates you. And sometimes, let me tell you some things, some, someone. Sometimes God can remove everybody. Everybody. Mm. God can remove everybody. The people that you thought were your friends, the people you thought that they were your family, God will remove them because he wants you to himself. That you can rely. And it's never, it's never about your friends. It's, it's about you and God. And God. He wants you to lean on him completely. Is it easy? No. no. It's hard. It's tough. My phone would stay for days without ringing. <sighs> My phone would stay days, mm. for days without ringing. But let me tell you, God removed everybody. Mm. And I leaned on him and I told God, you know what? Happened you to Naka and you wear it to Naka. Wearing the umsada wang. So when you're going through the process, anyone who is going through the process, maybe you're sick. Lean on to God. It's just a process. You will come out of it victoriously. Lean on to that. Lean on to God. Stop blaming people. Oh, why are people not coming? Achana na wow. Lean on to God. Trust mm. in God. God God is everything. God is everything. Depend on him. It's, it's a process that you're going through and you're going to come out of it victoriously. Victoriously. So depend on him. Trust in God. Look unto him. Look unto him. 
I realized that nobody can help me. Mm. My husband will support me, yes. will cry with me, mm. he'll be there for me. But the only person who can get me out of this is just God. It's just God. And he did. He did. Wow. He did. Today I celebrate five years of, wow. of not having those seizures attacks. You know, not they, having to take medicine yes, every day. The seven tablets every day. And out of that, I'm really compassionate to people who are sick because I know how it feels when people, sometimes when people isolate you, mm. you know, especially when you're dealing with something that is terminal, eh. you know. Cause yeah, like this thing, it's not going away. It's not going away. So this is going to be our lives yes, forever. Yes, this is going to be our lives forever. Oh, thank so, God for so, your husband. I, I really God. thank God for it. He stayed. Yes, he supported me. Mm -hmm. Their hospital visits, sometimes I would get seizures at night. We'll go and and you'd I'd, never get tired. Yes, you'd never get tired. And we'd go so to God. hospital. And today, we can testify as mm. a family that God can really heal. Yeah. And he has healed <laughs> me. Yes. You know, he has healed me Amen. completely, completely. Amen. And it is something that God is real. Mm. God is real. Mm. So sometimes you can be going through things and go to an aquinoa. Hey. Because how do you tell someone who has epilepsy and God is using them to give word of knowledge to other people, to other people encouraging them, encouraging them, telling them what will get them out of yes, whatever they are yeah. in. And you are there, yeah, crying yourself. Sometimes nobody knows what you're going through. Yes, and you cry yourself to sleep. But God, the other day I was thinking, and I said, Lord, I thank you even for what I went through. And you would never imagine words like those would have come out of your yeah, mouth. Never. Thank you for that process. Yes, thank you for the process. Now I can encourage a woman. Mm. Now I can tell a woman, stand up and pray. Yes. That is not the end. Mm. Your situation is not the end. Yeah. If I could leave my six month old baby. And go for Kesha. Yes, and go for Kesha. Over and over. And over and This over. week. Next week. You, we need to Next arise. Mm. I tell women, we need to arise. Things don't just change yes. like that by chance. Yeah. You have to really yes. arise. You need to arise. We need to arise. In we chat sometimes you too. There comes a time when one person has to say enough is enough. Yes. Yeah. This is it. Yes. Now I want to win. Yes. And I'm winning with Jesus yes. on my side. So yeah. whatever warfare I need to deal with, yeah. I'm all in. Yes. These okay. altars, wherever they yes. are, I am ready. Yes. I am now coming with yeah. Jesus this time around. Yeah. But it, it, you have to get to that point. Yes, you have to. You have to say enough is enough. Mm. You have to say no. I can't continue like this. I thank God for your salvation. Yes, for you knowing that He exists. Yeah. And even that realization that you have an option. Yes. Because some people don't know. Yeah. They would think of witchcraft. Maybe yeah. let me go to a witch doctor. Yeah. They have not gotten the revelation yes. that Jesus heals, that yeah. he is a true savior. Mm. One at a foot are very many other yes. solutions that don't help. Yeah. Ah. But God. Oh. God. I'm assuming and imagining this is really how woman arise was birth. Yes. Yes. I'm really happy to know that you are my neighbor. To know that I can pop in your house and we pray. Yes. It feels good to have someone you have the same faith. Yes. You believe in yeah. God, the same intensity. Yeah. Yeah. Many encourage. Yes. I'm so encouraged. Amen. Thank you for coming Amen. to pour it out. Amen. We give God the glory for Amen. healing you. Yes. Is your uh, Woman Arise group open to people yes. joining or yeah. is it private? No, no, no. Mm. They are open. Uh -huh. So yes. if someone wants to come and maybe be a part of this group for prayers or whatever, how can they go about that? I have a Facebook account mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, called Woman Arise Prayer Hub. Uh -huh. So one can, um, one can join. Uh -huh. 
most of our prayers are online. Ah, good. Zoom. Mm. So we start at 4 a.m. Yeah. and end at 5.30. Mm. Yes. I highly encourage anyone who wants a support group, you want to do prayers, and necessarily, not necessarily to pray like for your need, but generally. Yes praying for very many other things. Yes. We we pray every Tuesday. Mm. Uh, we pray for Kenya. Wow. We fast and pray for Kenya. Mm. And every second Friday mm. of the month, we do Kesha, uh, a mini Kesha, mm. from 9.30 to 11.30, uh -huh. just to pray for Kenya. Nice. In the Zoom meeting. Yes, Zoom meeting. Most of our meetings are Zoom meeting. We have a physical meeting that will be, we'll be meeting every quarter mm. of the month. Yeah. And uh, the first ever meeting that we had was on 1st April. Aha, uh -huh. on your anniversary yes, now. Yes, the three years anniversary yes. of interceding of everyday intercession. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I have no words. I don't have anything else to add other than to say thank you. Make sure you check that Facebook page. Join if you feel need. If you feel this message belong to somebody in your circle, if you have listened and you're like this, I need to send this to my mom, I need to send it to my sister, I need to share this to my best friend, share, share widely as the spirit leads you. Do not just watch and leave it there. And thank you also for subscribing and keep subscribing. But then one of the benefits of subscribing is that if you subscribe, then this message can reach more people because it's easier to search when you have more subscribers. It's easy to find the channel. So please subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Thank you, Phoebe. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Yanni, I, I don't know what to say. Asante sana. Bye. This is Pour It Out. Thank you.